All right, here we go. Question number 11 from our college algebra homework number one in my lab math. It says for the piecewise function, find the values g of negative 5, g of 1, and g of 5. And so here they've given us a piecewise function. Over here I've copied the function down to explain how this works. So the first thing that I want to point out is that this stuff back here at the back, this is the condition. And the condition is what determines which piece of the function you plug into, whether you use the top piece or the bottom piece. So our first function value is g of negative 5, Notice that the number in the parentheses is x, and the function value is y. So what we're going to do is we're going to take negative 5 and see which condition is true, and then that'll tell us which piece to use. Is negative 5 less than or equal to 1, or is negative 5 greater than 1? Well, that's the first condition. Negative 5 is less than or equal to 1. And so that means that we're going to plug negative 5 into the top piece for x. So that's going to be negative 5 plus 6. And then we simply need to work that out. And that gives us our y value. So g of negative 5 is 1. Next, g of 1. So again, the 1 is the x, and we got to figure out which condition is true. So is 1 less than or equal to 1, or is 1 greater than 1? Well, again, it's the first condition. So we're going to plug 1 into the top piece and work it out. And g of 1 is 7. Last piece, g of 5. So again, back to the condition. Is 5 less than or equal to 1? Or is 5 greater than 1? Well, 5 is bigger than 1. And so now we're going to use the bottom piece, 8 minus, plugging in 5 for x, and work it out. 8 minus 5 is 3. And that's how piecewise functions work, okay? So if I stop there, I think I would be cheating you out of some learning. So we're going to go to Desmos, and I'm going to show you how you can input a piecewise function into Desmos and have it calculate these values for you. So we're going to start by inputting our function g of x. Now, the brace, this what some people call a squiggly bracket, it's actually called a brace. And to get the brace in Desmos, we're going to click the keyboard, the ABC button, and here's your braces. Now, to input a piecewise function into Desmos, we need to put the condition first. So the first condition is, uh, let's see, here we go, x is less than or equal to 1. And then you put a colon and the function that we use for that condition, which is x plus 6. And then you put a comma, and then you put the next condition and the next function. And you can do this no matter how many pieces there are in the piecewise function. Okay? So the next condition is x is greater than 1, colon, and the function is 8 minus x. And then if we hit enter, that's going to give us that particular piecewise function. And if you look over here at the graph, you can see that those pieces, they do transition at 1. One has a positive slope, the other has a negative slope. All right, so now the cool part. Now you can actually ask Desmos to calculate g of negative 5, 
And did you, oops, I put 50, I'm in a close parenthesis. Did you see it gives the function value of one, which is the same answer we got here, okay? And you can do this as many times as you want. G of one, look, automatically gives seven. G of five, and there's the three, okay? So again, that's how you can use Desmos to do piecewise functions and give you those function values. So I hope all of that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.